Hello everyone, welcome to 5 Levels channel. If you're interested in a high quality powerful device that can replace your DVD and Blu-ray players and also capable of organizing and playing all your local media like movies and music, then keep watching the video. Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to unbox and review the Zito Z1000 Pro Media Player. I'm going to give you my honest opinion with my likes and dislikes about this device and at the end of the video we'll see who is this device suitable for. So let's start with the unboxing. Alright guys, so this is the Zero Z1000 Pro. It is a local media player that you can use on your home theater. Uh, it can play uh, most of your 4K and Blu-ray reps as well as your music. Uh, it is really powerful when it, when it comes to local media. It is not a streaming device, however, you can use it for uh, playing your local media and it can replace your own Blu-ray and 4K players as it allows you to uh, plug in a hard drive where you can play all your, all your reps uh, inside this device and you can also use a NAS server and not only a NAS server, you can convert your own PC and your own storage into a server that can uh, allow this device to access all these fo folders and your media and play it as well. And uh, don't think that it will only work if you have a NAS server, no, you, you don't need to uh, go really expensive, you can also use your own PC and create your own server and without paying anything and uh, having any extra costs. We also have here uh, two USB 2.0 ports and as I said we have the uh, hard drive 3.5 size uh, slot here that you can use. Uh, as far as my usage I do not use the storage of the device or any internal hard drive as I already have my own server and I use the SMB protocol in order to allow the Zero to access my folders and all my 4K and Blu-ray reps and the music and it plays it really smoothly without any delays or any problems. 
All right, so moving on to the side, we have some extra ports here. This is a SATA port that can allow you to use external hard drives or SSDs. And here we have uh, USB 3.0 ports. And moving on to the back, we have a gigabit port that has a really high speed up to 1000 MB. And this is the HDMI in port and this is the HDMI out port. The HDMI out port allows you to record external devices uh, and then uh, save the recorded uh, display on the internal di uh, hard disk of the Zero. And this is a uh, HDMI 2.0A port and this is a optical port. These are the RCAs and this is a serial port and we also have a fan here for the uh, heat and then we have the po uh, power port. It has a really nice metal finish which I really like. It feels really premium and I really love that it has a LED display here that shows the clock or it shows the playback. You can customize whatever you want to see on this display. So yeah, that's uh, about it I guess. I really love this device and we'll talk about it more in the next part of the video. Moving on to the specs of the device. So I'm currently on the official Zero website and I'm going to move on to the uh, specs of the Z1000 Pro. As you can see, it has many other media players and they come in smaller shapes and bigger shapes. So uh, the UHD 3000 as well as the Neo Alpha are the flagship devices of the Zero brand. And now let's move on to the specs. As you can see, it has 2 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage. And these are the interfaces that I have covered earlier. And it has a high quality universal power supply, which means you can use this device anywhere in the world. It has the support of up to 4K with 60 Hz. And yeah, it has this really nice feature, which I really love, which is the accurate frame rate switching. Uh, when you play a 4K movie or a 1080p Blu-ray movie from any of your reps, it will, go, it will uh, automatically switch the frame rate and allow you to have this really amazing smooth experience when it comes to the frame rate. And you will definitely notice the difference when you play the same movie on Nvidia Shield on, or on Apple TV and when you play it on the Zero device. Because the source content of that movie is from a disc, so it will have the highest quality and the highest frame rate, which will allow you to have this efficient smooth experience. And next, these are the HDR technologies that it supports. It has SDR and HDR10, HDR10+, Plus and Dolby Vision. When it comes to Dolby Vision, this is one of the nicest devices where I have experienced Dolby Vision, uh, compared to when I played movies on the Nvidia Shield, and when I played them on Dolby Vision, it is totally different as the contrast and the brightness when I play uh, Dolby Vision movies such as Top Gun Maverick. It it really uh, looked so good and so amazing. I mean, I was shocked when I played it on the Zero and when I played it on the NVIDIA Shield, even though the NVIDIA Shield has higher RAM and it has a good CPU, but this one has a really powerful Dolby Vision engine. And not only will it play the original Dolby Vision movies, it can also convert uh, HDR10 content into Dolby Vision and you can also convert SDR content into Dolby Vision, which is something I did not see in other devices. And I highly recommend that experience. And if you have already tested that, please leave your opinion in the comments and it also supports Dolby Atmos and BTSX and all the audio formats that we usually have in the movies and these are the color depth that it supports and uh, this is the operating system version of the device which supports Android 9.0 the Zero company have developed a interface from the source code of the Android 9.0 and they created their own interface and their own app uh, which is called the poster wall. This is the core and the heart of the Zero devices which is the app that is responsible for scanning and scrapping all your uh, media content when it comes to videos and movies. It will scan everything and get all the metadata that it needs to organize all your content and then gives you the posters and all the information to organize your media. And one of the most outstanding features that makes the Zero device better than the streaming devices, such as the Apple TV or the Nvidia Shield, which is the uh, JavaScript capabilities that allows you to play the movie menus on the poster wall. It's like when you're inserting a movie disc into a Blu-ray or a DVD player, where you will be introduced with a uh, movie menu that will allow you to navigate through the chapter selections and the uh, movie settings, as well as the extras that comes on some Blu-ray discs. You will have the same exact experience with the same 
same exact quality when it comes to image and audio quality you'll be able to uh, play the lossless audio tracks and uh, this is something you will not have on the streaming devices and i noticed from my experience when i tested the nvidia shield and the zero device the zero device is really good when it comes to hdr content and dolby vision content as it uh, plays them in the highest possible quality just like when you are playing on a blu-ray player while when you're on the nvidia shield uh, it is much better when it comes to the streaming services so if you are someone who have so many uh, uh, movie discs that would like to organize them into a library without needing to use a blu-ray player this is the best way to use it and if you have a home theater with a large screen and you want to get the best out of it i highly recommend the zedo device and these are the video formats that the device supports it also has a really nice subtitle features which i highly recommend as it helped me a lot when i use the subtitle feature and next we have the support of lossless music playback and i did test the flag format for some of the music tracks that i have and the music on the zero sounded really amazing and in high quality and this is the music library app that the Zero developed, which uh, will scan all your music files and then organizes everything in this application on the Zero device. And we also have the music streaming and you can download your favorite apps and stream your music from them on the Zero device. And here we have the protocol that I have mentioned earlier, which is the SMB. This is the protocol that will allow the file sharing between the PC and the Zero device and will allow you to convert your PC into a server without needing any NAS server and without wasting any money. The NAS server is a good addition. However, it's a bit expensive. So if you don't have the budget for a NAS server, you can use the SMB protocol to convert your computer or your storage device into a server. And finally, we have the Zero Controller app, which is something I really use and really uh, find benefits out of it. Because sometimes when you're trying to type on the Zero device, uh, it can be annoying and slow. But when you're using uh, the smartphone, you can quickly type on your phone and you can paste and do whatever you want so quickly and efficiently. And that's about it in terms of the specs. And now we'll move on to the next part. And the things that I did not like about the Zero device is that it sometimes skips some of the scenes that comes before the Blu-ray movie menus and it sometimes randomly skips the disc menus and immediately starts the movie, which is something I really hope that they fix in the upcoming updates. Another thing that I did not like is the lack of new firmware updates as I noticed that they do not release firmware updates for the bug fixes very often. And the last thing is the uh, device is a bit slow during the navigations, but it's not much of a big deal as you can still enjoy the powerful features of the Zero device. And now I have finally reached the point where I should state who is this device suitable for. And I would say that all of the Zero media players are good for people with big movie collections and uh, 4K or Blu-ray reps or a TV series because the poster wall will organize all of these media and allow you to have the highest possible quality and the best smooth and efficient experience. And uh, if you are someone who have a high-end sound system or, or, or a home theater, uh, this device will allow you to get the best uh, quality out of your system. And if you are someone who is more into streaming, I would recommend other devices such as the NVIDIA Shield or the Apple TV because this device does not uh, work very well with streaming services as it does not even have licensed applications such as the Netflix and Disney Plus. Uh, I would say if you're into these streaming services, go with these streaming devices and if you are more of a local media player and who loves really high quality and who have a really powerful sound system, you will get the best quality out of the Zero media players. And now we have reached the end of this video. And if you're interested in more uh, content like that, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.